This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are continuing our showcase of the 2009 Saskatoon Exhibition. Joining me once again, the Director of Events, Carl Schlossinger. Carl, you've been here nine years. No one has ever pitched this interview idea. We are atop, right now, the 120-foot Ferris wheel, the centerpiece of the Midway. Thoughts as we go around. Well, you're right. This is the first time ever. Looks like a beautiful night out there, too. This has been an amazing day. It's something about the exhibition, especially at night. You know, you get here, it's dark, the lights are on. I'm seven years old again, Carl. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you know, it has that effect. It, this, I guess the carnival, everybody comes here. This is the happy place. This mm -hmm. is the happy place of Saskatoon. So, you know, we're seeing that. Uh, it smiles on faces. You know, today we did the Mardi Gras parade. You know, yep. it goes right, right down Concession Row through the Midway. Unbelievable! Everybody's smiling. Like that's a that's a premium event that we've discovered here in Saskatoon. Now you're the director of events. What exactly do you do? You just get this ready all year. This is a piece of what I do. But with regards to the fair, we we basically start booking the fair right now for next year. Okay. Uh, there's a number of these acts uh, that we, we booked this year that we possibly will bring back next year. We try not to, we try not to have them on, I guess... Too many years too, in a row. Too many years okay. in a row. But we, you know, we want to make sure that they build a following as well. Like a hypnotist will keep for three years. Yep. Um, if they do really well, we might, we might try to do it an extra year. But in the same time, while we have that hypnotist, we're always looking for another hypnotist. Something new. One thing we strive for is always keeping it fresh, always trying to make it different, always trying to make it something for everybody. You brought in Safari Jeff and Shannon this year, which we just did an interview with. They couldn't have been happier to be part of the 2009 Saskatoon exhibition. So you get to see it from both sides. You get to see the people of Saskatoon happy. You get to see the performers happy. You must have a pretty rewarding job, Carl. It is. You know, I sometimes, you know, at the end of the day, I, you know, on a real crazy day, I go and you know, what am I doing? But the reason I'm doing it is because I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing better than to see a, a sold out grandstand show. You know, everybody just screaming and happy because they're seeing their favorite artist. Or to see the, you know, the kid riding a ride for the first time, the smile on their face. And that, that right there is the enjoyment that I get out of doing and promoting this fair. The thing I love about the exhibition is it transcends. You know, as I mentioned off the top of the interview, some of my best childhood memories are doing this. You know, you're up late, it's 11 o'clock, you're on this Ferris wheel seeing the lights for miles. You know, that sticks with you. And when my son was born, that was like one of the first things I thought is, oh man, I'm going to get to do that with him in a few years. So he was out here, not on the big Ferris wheel today, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we were taking in the kids' rides. He's three and a half. Next year, we're going to do it. And yeah, just just seeing the kids like you mentioned, it's, re it's really kind of cool how generation after generation they just come back well you know there's 123 years of history at this park and that's it basically started and that's where it started from was the fair people people come to the fair every year um, a lot of people this is this is their holiday this yeah. is this is their vacation you know they they su save up and you know this is this is their time to come out and have fun you know some people are fortunate enough to go to the Disneylands of the world, but some people reality. are, you know, reality is, you know, not everybody is going yeah. to be able to do that. And, you know, that is something that in Saskatoon, we try to bring in at, at the fair, we try to bring basically a piece of like the Disneyland world to Saskatoon, giving people something that I guess they, they don't normally see yeah. every, every day of the year. And it makes it, it that's what makes it special. And it really, I don't want to be cliche, but the Saskatoon X, honestly, something for everyone. I mean, you start with a parade. You got the rides, you got the acts, you got the animals. And then for, you know, the really hard to please teenage crowd, you got Mariana's Trench here tonight, free with admission. You know, uh, Blue Rodeo tomorrow, free with admission. Stampeders, the older crowd, free with, with admission. Like, that's incredible talent you're bringing in for free at the Saskatoon X. You know, and that's why, you know, we look at, you know, we charge our adult $13 admission but realistically when, when, when you look at it $13 you have an opportunity to see some of the best class acts in the country you get to see acts that you would never see before acts that would normally be $30 $50 a ticket and you get to see them for that admission and 
you know, needless to say, it is it is expensive to come to the fair if you're going to take in, but it's it's, it, yeah. it's worth it, and yeah. we feel it's worth it. We feel, and you know, I've had many people come up to me and say, we can't believe the value we have. You know, when we come to this this event, they're happy. They're they're happy. They leave happy. They they actually thank you. Yeah. And that's that's rewarding in itself. There is a lot of odd things about the fair. You know, just walking around down there, there's a lot of rough looking people here. But they're always happy. You know, you don't get that in a lot of places. Everyone, it's just it's contagious happiness here. This is their holiday. And you know it it brings everybody to the fair. Everybody's a part of it. It's a I guess it's an event that the community celebrates, you know, it's, and we, you know, we've made it, I think, you know, it, it is the largest event in the province. Uh, we stuck a lot of dollars, like this year with, with the hip show, we've, we probably spent $700,000 on entertainment this year. That's, that's a large amount of cash to spend on, on this event, but we see the payback in it, in the, in the amount of people that come out to the show. Yesterday, you know, we had a 9% increase over last year. You know, today we're, you know... Breaking records today, I'm pretty it's, sure. It's a, it's a rocking day on the park today. Yeah. You know, you look out there and every line is full. Mm -hmm. And you know, people are having fun. People don't even mind standing in a line because they stand in line with their friends and visit while they're, while they're doing it. And it, you know, that's just part of coming out to the fair. Well, like I said, contagious happiness. <laughs> along the line of something for everybody. You brought 2 p and new to the fair. I'm sure half the people watching don't know what 2 p and new is, but it's like a blockbuster kids show. That was the first show my son took to. And here it is three years later, we look in the program, oh man, 2 p and new is gonna be live on stage at the exhibition. His eyes, he didn't blink for the entire half hour show tonight. I mean, the kids entertainment as well. Last year it was Franklin. Yes, we, like, Treehouse TV, you know, needless to say, we try to bring in those acts. We've, that's something, another thing we've done in the last couple of years, we've brought in the Big Comfy Couch, the Doodle Bops, those type of, Franklin the Turtle. It's, that age demographic, that's their first experience at the fair. You know, the first experience tonight for a lot of people in a grandstand show is Mariana's Trench. They might have never ever saw, when, you know, nothing really piqued their interest in the grandstand. Now they're 12, 13 years old. Yeah, you know, now they're out at this, and that's what we try to do. Tomorrow, Heritage Day, like we have the Emeralds, like we've got the Emeralds coming in, you know, and we're going to set up an area in the outdoor theater that, you know, if people want to dance, they can poke it to them. So, once again, offering a little bit of something for everyone. You mentioned this is your ninth year doing what you do. Look back nine years, how have you seen the exhibition change over nine years? I mean, 2009, financially the world's not exactly thumbs up right now and we were mentioning uh, the actual Ferris wheel before we started rolling you were telling me how it's put together and it switched because it only takes like three trailers that's something that's stuff I never even thought about before you're you're uh, like telling me about it well you know midways there's there's only so many midway companies out there yeah. and uh, naturally with these midways there's huge costs like you know they have hundreds of trucks going down the road everyone pulling a trailer of you know iron and so like the midways have had to become a little you know smarter as well and you know look at what pieces is they're carrying and and ensure that you know there's you know they need to make money too so they have to ensure that when they're hauling if they're going to haul a whole midway around if they can cut 20 trucks off off that whole run that's a lot of money over a whole season and you know that's what's happening can I ask you something about sure. the timing of the Saskatoon exhibition? A few years ago, it jumped from about second week of July, which it had been since I was, you know, 10, to uh, about second week of August or first week of August. What brought that on? Well, we used to deal with another company, uh, a midway operator, and we wanted to step out and, and go after bigger rides, bigger iron. In order to do that, we had to switch midway operators. So we went to Conklin Midway. Now, since then, Conklin Midway has been taken over by North American Midway, but still the same, the same features. This, this mid Midway basically goes, starts, starts out in Canyon, Brandon, then to Winnipeg, then to Calgary, then to Edmonton, then to Regina, then to Saskatoon, then to Toronto. So we wanted to be, I guess, a part of that A circuit Midway operator because we felt by bringing in the A circuit, 
rides, that's a step in the right direction to having an A-class fare. And uh, with that, there was a gap, and that gap was in August. So that's where our time fit in. And, and that's why we, we basically schedule the fare around the Midway operator and when they're on their circuit. And uh, that's, that's why it runs that way. And you would probably be the best person to ask, what is the deal with the people of Saskatoon and Spud Nuts? They go nuts for it. It's like you can't mention the Saskatoon X without Spud Nuts. You know, I was talking to people last week. I'm like, I'm so excited with the Saskatoon X. You know, the tragically hip Blue Rodeo, and they're like, yeah, and Spud Nuts. It's like, yes, yes, and Spud Nuts. You know, <laughs> what is what, what is the appeal of Spud Nuts? Well, I think Spud Nuts have. I guess is they're it just tradition. It's just tradition. Okay. I guess going back, Spud Nuts were developed. And, and they were sold back in the day by the Seven Day Adventists at the, at the fair. And then from there, they were basically, that business was sold to the Saskatchewan Boy Scouts. Now what happened with that is that the Boy Scouts ran it as a fundraiser for a large number of years. But it got to the point that the Boy Scouts couldn't handle the volunteerism to, to, to produce it and keep up with the, I guess, the volume that they're doing at the Saskatoon X. And, and they were wearing their volunteers out. So they, were, they, they basically wanted to sell it to get out of it, and they would find other initiatives for fundraising. So looking at what Spud Nuts is with the fair, we thought it was a great opportunity for us to basically bring it on board and, and kind of market it as a, you know, one of those things that we have at the SAS2 Next. We don't, we, we've been asked to take Spud Nuts out on the road tour with Spud Nuts. Okay. You know, needless to say, we could go and we could probably go into other fairs and we could probably capitalize on that adventure. But then what it would lose its appeal to Saskatoon next. We want to keep it special. We want to keep it it's it's part of tradition and that's why we kept it like that. We we don't we don't sell Spud Nuts throughout the year. We sell them at the Saskatoon X. And that's the time you get them. And I think by doing it, it's it's created you know, that marketability and that demand for Spud Nuts throughout the year. Speaking of demand, I have two questions left, and Matt, I have to apologize to our camera guy, Eric Steiner. After this, his one shoulder is going to be like three times the size of his other shoulder. We're already like past 10 minutes with this interview. Carl, two questions left. Question the first, Carl's favorite part of the Saskatoon exhibition each and every year. What do you look forward to? My favorite part would probably watching one of the shows that I, I guess, really, really want to see myself at the Saskatoon X. This year, that would be Blue Rodeo. I'm a huge Blue Rodeo fan. I've followed their careers for a large number of years. I've booked the band probably over, over time, probably 10, 12 times between Blue Rodeo and the Jim Cuddy project. And they just, they're a band that I truly enjoy. So. That's probably one of my highlights on the entertainment side of it for this year. All right, last question. We're almost done, Eric. Thank you so much. When the 2009 Saskatoon Exhibition comes to a close Sunday night, you turn the lights off, you're going to be the last person on that bungee thing, you tell me, right, first that's, of all? That's right. I do, that every, I do that every year. I do that every year. What's going to be the story people are talking about when the 2009 Saskatoon Exhibition comes to a close? Well, I'm, I'm hoping that people will have come out and enjoyed the fair and they will have taken that experience that they had at this year's fair and they will take the memories as well as the pictures that they probably took at the fair and that'll be something that they put in that book and that'll, you know, that they will remember for that whole year to, and the years to come. Carl, thank you. Thank you.